All right, what's the RNG gonna be? What's it gonna be today? Mario, Mario moment, Mario moment. True, true. You love to see Mario do it. <gasps> you know something I observed over time? I used to go, Super Mario Maker. <laughs> what happened? Why did we drop the Super Mario Maker? All right, what am I doing today? I'm playing some levels that no one has ever beaten before. So I could beat them first and be like, yep, I beat it. It's typically the goal. Okay, this is a new level. The thumbnail is a bit perplexing, a little interesting. Maybe the level's a little boring. Oh, I see exactly what the level is. Okay, it's this crouch fall slide thingy. You get 500 seconds. 150, wow. I'm not particularly good at this. I never have been. I actually have always thought this was really hard. This would be a really cool stage to master. Do you just do it from... Is it like you twirl at the last second? Well, it's not just twirl at the last second, because you have to also... Oh, I did it once! I did it once! Okay, now that I kind of know what it looks like, maybe I can get better at it? Almost. Wow. I kind of want to improve as a player, because this is a cool way to cheese stuff in other levels if you're good at this technique. Oh, I just learned a little bit more about how it works, which is that after you twirl, you can twirl first to prevent yourself from sliding on the wall and then hold right. I was doing it kind of in the opposite order. Nice. I'm improving as a player, as a person. I'm so nice to people now. I'm like, yeah, I can duck under single blocks and do it. Watch, I'll show you. And they're like, wow. I never have done that before. Okay. Actually, I'm not going to beat it in one go yet because I haven't mastered the technique. I might as well keep practicing here. Now, I know what's happening, right? Nolan's like, no, please, I don't want to edit this. It's the same thing forever. To which I say, that's probably true. Yeah. But wait until 10 years from now where I get to apply this skill. So it really is just like all about twirling, but getting your Excel right in at the right time. Pop into something that's a little bit more ergonomic for this trick. Yeah. Alright, this should be a little bit easier for me to figure out. Yeah, this does not hurt my hand. Nice. Nice. Like I drew a penis, it looked like, but not a very good one. Maybe that's an apple. Maybe I just think about penis too much. You know, there's no good plural for that word. I'm down to- I'm down to improve, dude. I found my grind today. Oh, dude. I wonder if holding jump makes this easier. Not that I would want to. I'm just curious. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that. Even if that's true, like somehow that minusculely helps, I wouldn't want to do it. Because then I have no chance of reliably building muscle memory. Hard as fuck. I, w I have to imagine it's because my right input is timed incorrectly. Once I, like, un have some sort of brain understanding of the timing, I think I can plow through this. Okay. <sighs> this one hurts even with the ergonomic controller. Fuck! Man, 13 minutes of cramping my dumb thumb. Alright, let's try this. I like degressed here or something. Or regressed, rather. Hey! Grab what it felt like. Almost got the back to back. Yeah, I started I started just fundamentally doing the twirl too late. It needs to stall me above the ground so I have time to move through the air. And it has to stall me at the right height so I have time to move in. Okay. Maybe some sort of like understanding forming here. So I just need to like twirl at the exact right moment and then be holding R ideally on the very next frame. And I thought I had had the idea, but then I proceeded to never get it again. I haven't figured it out yet. In any consistent way. I can't imagine it's actually like crazy precise to the point where you couldn't do it consistently. Otherwise this level wouldn't exist. And I've seen this level concept before. These are like all almost attempts. I don't know how to make the adjustment I need. If my goal was to almost get under there every time, I've definitely I'm definitely good at it. <sighs> I'm having trouble isolating what the mistake is. Is it pushing right too soon or not soon enough? Am I not twirling at the right time? Damn it. Really? Is that the idea? Huh. 
no way. I think I maybe, maybe, maybe have like gotten some visual stuff to think about here. Oh, that's hard though. I think I know when I want to twirl now. Doesn't make it exactly easy to do it, but at least now I have something to mentally aim for. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, wow. So what I'm doing is I want I want the bottom of Toadette's feet to be like exactly horizontally aligned with the bottom of this block. And then I obviously I have to time the right input to just sort of work out. But knowing step one is making step two way easier to fill out. Okay. I see myself beating this soon and leaving with a new fundamental understanding of one of the mechanics in this game. And to me, maybe maybe a level like this is boring to you. It's not exciting, but to me, I, I see myself leveling up as a player. Keep improving. Also, can we uh, can we get an F in chat for Nolan, who is watching this probably for 20 minutes now, and you are not? One. I'm trying to get that timing down. Nice. Every time I get it, it makes me happy. Even though I'm probably not going to win the level, I'm just leveling up, you know? Unlocking my brain. You can see the clear improvement between now and 20-ish minutes ago. This would have been a good level to have a timer. Oh yeah, this is, this is, I understand it now. I'm so glad I was patient enough to stick through this, even through the hand pain, because I understand the trick now. Even though I'm not incredible at it, I now know what I'm looking for to make it happen. Nice. Nice. That's that's pretty good. That's that's really good progress. I'm not quite sure how far I was. I stopped counting after it. I didn't get the first one very quickly. But very nice. One. Took 13 seconds. Now I just gotta bring that success rate higher. I'm per successful attempt down. Nice. That was a good one. Start building a muscle memory sense, too. That'll help. You guys really have watched the learning process sort of unfold. It's kind of beautiful. That was good. I often find the learning process can be a boring one, but maybe here. Maybe here, this is a glorious example. Nice. That was a close one. That was really close, too. I thought I had it. Alright. I'm exiting now to see... Just do some math. Like, how, how quickly do I need to be able to execute this? To beat the level doesn't look like it's that demanding um 17 meaning i can take somewhere between like eight and nine seconds per attempt that's pretty generous it's pretty generous if you were just nailing them you could literally do like four and five seconds i feel like pretty generous timer here it's all about this is really about learning the trick more than it is about completely mastering it one and right now i am not very on pace maybe actually if i can just get some quick ones Nice. Okay, I'm getting a lot better at this. This has been a rough one. Unfortunately, I got stuck here. But right, though, we're still learning. My brain unlearned. Okay. First try. Second try. Bro! Aw. Oh. This is really good right now. Nice. Bro, this is really good attempt so far. Ah, uh, dang it. Okay, not so bad. Law of averages. Ah, just a little bit too high on my twirl like every single time here. But only barely too high. Dang it, I've like fell to pieces here. Nice, that was kind of quick. That was first try. That was okay, I guess. That took a while. Nice. Oh fuck, I thought I had it. Nice. Nice. Oh, I did the math wrong. It turns out there's more attempts than it looked like. Cause you have to do a couple extra. You have to do a couple extra to get the tan, and then you have to sh prove that you can do it twice in the opposite direction. That's a massive improvement. Okay, two. Two very quickly. Three very quickly. Four very quickly. I don't know, scuffed. 
Okay, that was alright. That was awesome. More of those, please. More of those first try boys. Nice, decent. I just like got stuck here, man. Why? Alright, I wanna I need to take like a moment just to sort of sit with the information I've gathered and like allow myself to understand it. Okay. What do you got for me, brain? Are you an expert at this yet? It's over. Bro, what did I just unlearn? Oh no. This is scary. Man, I really want to beat this. Poor Nolan, the 33 minutes of this fucking thing. The component I maybe wasn't thinking about is how high your initial jump is. Because it seems like by the time you get to the ground at the peak of your jump, you are falling much slower than when you have just gotten to the peak of your jump. A pretty consistent single jump as well. That part should remain consistent as well. And honestly, just for the sake of muscle memory, that's going to serve me better. Okay, so part of doing this consistently is like just doing a tiny jump so that your character isn't falling so quickly already. <sighs> Fuck, sometimes it just feels impossible. Sometimes I just can't get that tiny jump. Aw, oh, that sucks. Okay, why? I see, I'm just holding the button for too long. That's really all it is. I can like feel the difference in my hand whenever it works. But it's so hard not to do it. Oh my god, I'm gonna go insane. <sighs> oh god, this is killing my stupid brain. Actually just like melting my brain. I need to stop looking at it for a second. Oh, that's rough. What are we thinking? I come back to this without cramped hands and I just nail it? Probably not. Why are you shaking at me? <laughs> Bro, what if you your ultimate weakness was going was doing it in reverse, right? But to not do it in reverse, oh, uh, this is so not worth the time it takes to get the coin first and come back. Something that has plagued me in the back of my mind is how horrifying it would be if there was a dev mushroom on one of these. That's not very nice. I guess we're clearing that out now. Oh, I see. It's this is what's hidden behind the block. How did I not observe that before? For some reason, I always thought it would be in front of the flag. Okay, if I just tell myself to only stare at Toadette's feet, it, I do see much greater success, but, like, I'm not used to doing that, and then I subconsciously stop doing it. I think I just unlocked a little bit of knowledge. Huh, maybe not. <sighs> much redefining the will all the time. When it comes to this, I just have to do it. Stop aiming for 100% consistency and just do it, you know? Okay. I'm actually seeing success in delaying my R input a bit. Or right input, I mean. Hurting my hand. Sometimes when it doesn't work, I just don't get it. I just don't get why it like never seems to change. Crazy, dude. Crazy. I've like I've I've lost it or something. Huh. I just like have lost it completely. I don't wanna give up. Uh, we hit the hour mark. Okay, I don't want to give up, but this is stressing me out a ton, so I do need to take a break. It was then that Simple decided to go on a walk to clear his mind. I decided to go on a walk to clear my mind. I am back. Here's hoping I just, like, I unlock, right? That's what you always want after a break. You get the blood pumping, you walk, you feel what nature feels like. Stupid. <laughs> Damn. Nature experts hate him. So do historians. But does the internet historian hate me? I hope not. That'd suck. Uh, I'm not staring at Toad's feet again. Why do I, I... That's so hard to remember. That's fundamentally, like, different. How do you stare at Toadette's feet instead of her dumpy? Can you get, like, a low jump? A perfect low one? Fuck, it's so hard to do, by the way. When you get that perfect low one, it seems like you're just on the ground forever. Or uh, above the ground forever. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice. Two in a row. Three in a row. Not in a row, but you know. Nice. I'm hella not on time, but it's alright. It's a journey, you know? Yeah, that tiny jump helps so much, it's just hard to do sometimes. But I found a way to make it easier. I thought about this outside, and it seems like it came in clutch. I'm holding the controller differently. I'm, I'm not using the lower buttons. I'm using the, uh, the upper ones. I know, kind of gross. Ooh. He's in time. Honestly, if I pop off, doable here. If I pop off, though, what do you think? Here's the deal, though. I have never done one of these to the left. <laughs> Should be the same thing, though. First try. Oh, honestly, arguably easier. This feels so nice on my hand. Let's go! The break fucking paid off! I came back a monster! <sighs> yes, dude! Yes, dude! You love to see it. Yes! 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 Okay, um, I'm gonna leave it there. That level tested my patience greater than I thought was going to happen today, and honestly, greater than I've been tested in a while. Bit of a weird episode this week, but I hope it was enjoyable. I hope that you guys felt what I felt. Just that moment where you unlock, crazy. It really, it's like all this information floating around your brain and that's the moment where it just, then you get more wrinkles. That's crazy. All right, have a good one. Thank you so much for watching. Like, sub and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys some other time.